Hello there, my name is Codewing, and this is a tutorial video on how to install the Life in the Woods mod pack for a multiplayer server. The very first thing you're going to need to do is download the Forge installer for 1.6.4 and the Life in the Woods server zip file. Both of the links to these downloads will be in the video description down below, so look down there. The second thing you're going to need to do is unzip this Life in the Woods Hungary server with 7-zip and extract it to a Life in the Woods folder. Create a new folder on your desktop called Server. This will represent your server that you're now creating. Launch the 1.6.4 Forge installer for the first time. And tell it to install to a server. And navigate to that path you just created for your new server. That's going to download the 1.6.4 version of Minecraft and a pre-bundled version of Forge. When that's complete, you'll get a message saying that it's successfully downloaded. Launch that server and you'll see three, three things in here. You'll see a libraries folder and the two jars that I just talked about. Open this jar up by right-clicking and opening with 7-zip or WinRAR. Open the archive. It'll pop up here and show all the contents of that jar file. Next, you're going to want to do the same thing with the Minecraft Forge version. And you'll want to then copy all these files from the Minecraft Forge version to the default Minecraft version. So click in here and do a control and then A. That'll select all the files and you can just drag all these files over to the Minecraft version. It'll copy everything over. Once it's done, it'll say, do you want to confirm this? Say yes. And then close out both of these jar files. Next, you'll want to launch this Minecraft server for the first time by double-clicking on it. That's going to start generating some files for you and preparing a world. Once it's started up, you're going to want to go in here and type stop right away to shut down the server. After it's stopped, you'll see there's a bunch of files created in here. You're interested in this mods folder right here, so double-click on that mods folder to open it up. And then go back to your desktop and find that Life in the Woods server pack. Copy all these with Control a again. And then I'm going to do a control C copy and a paste in here. And once that's done, you'll see it's copied. You're going to go back into the server and open up the server properties here. And you're going to want to change this level type here to biomes OP. This will allow for the biomes of plenty level generation to take place the next time you launch the server. Make sure you save this. I'm just going to do control S and then close that out. You'll want to delete the world here that was generated before because that was a default Minecraft uh, world that was generated. So just delete here and double click on your Minecraft server 1.6.4 jar once again. And that will start creating this world with the Life in the Woods mod pack and the Biomes Plenty generation. And that's it. Pretty simple. After you're done, you should make sure to upload the files to your server, including any custom jar. That custom jar that we created, the Minecraft 1.6.4. Um, and that should pretty much be it. There are a lot of customizations that can be done within the mods and if you want to customize your world more you should read up on each of the mods and understand how they are configured within the folders here. In particular Biomes of Plenty allows you to turn certain biomes off so if you'd like to do that repeat the last few steps um, with deleting the world after you make your customizations and relaunch. If you're having problems with a particular mod on your client, you should remove that mod from the server mods as well. And if this worked for you, please let me know down in the comments. And if you're having trouble or having some other sort of problem, let me know down there as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.